In this example, I have configured MaxView Rail for a typical temperature application. A PT100 input signal, a low alarm of 40 degrees C, high alarm of 100 degrees C, and a limit alarm of 150 degrees C. The high and low alarms are fleeting alarms, but the limit alarm is a latched alarm and will require to be manually reset by an operator once the alarm condition has passed. I'm simulating the PC100 with a decade box and these multimeters, alarm 1 is the high alarm which is 100 degrees C, alarm 2 the low alarm of 40 degrees C and on this multimeter this is for the exceed or limit alarm of 150. At the moment, the display on the MaxView rail shows the, the process variable is at 79 degrees C. If I bring that below 40 degrees C, then we should see a change of state on this multimeter here. Okay, at the moment it's showing 1, which is beyond the range of resistance range of the multimeter. If I bring that down, so the temperature is coming down, 57, 40, here we are, it's come down, the change of state has, has changed on this multimeter, it's gone to a closed circuit, closed contact, and on the max view rad itself it shows alarm 2. If I take the temperature back up again on the multimeter, okay we've gone above the 40 degrees, so the alarm conditions passed and the multimeter change of state. Uh, has changed over again. Now on this one, alarm 1, this is the high alarm which we expect to see at 100 degrees C. Process variable at the moment is 53 on max view. If I increase that, so here we go, 80, 97, 98, 100. Change of state on this multimeter. Bring it back down and alarm 1 is shown on the, this, uh, on the OLED display of MaxView Rail. Bring the process variable down again below 100 and the alarm st uh, state has changed back. This is the multimeter where we're showing the uh, exceed alarm which is 150 degrees C. So if I take the temperature up. First of all the high alarm will, will uh, engage and then we go past that, past 100 degrees C till we get to the exceed and here you can see it's changed over. Uh, in this case it's measuring oh, two uh, or less, less than two ohms. It's a change of state on, on this multimeter. That's the exceed uh, alarm. Now with this it's a latched alarm so if I come back bring the process variable back again below 150 degrees C you'll see the temperature on the max view rail is 82, 81 but now we've got flashing on that latch. The alarm uh, the, the, the uh, alarm is still latched although we're below the alarm condition the relay is still latched so we have to clear it and we do that by using the front of panel display we can press the buttons here this shows the minimum um, process value that we got to the maximum that we got to 186 degrees C and here's the alarm state the limit is showing that it's locked okay we want to change that now so we press the function key and it comes up clear all latches. The default is no, change it to yes, accept and that um, has now changed over. The alarm state has changed over. So let's go back into normal operation with 100 limit alarm 150 and the process value at the moment is 79.